What your ears say about your health. 1. What are your ears telling you? What does it mean, when your ears look a little different, or hurt, ring, or rich? It could be a sign of something, you might not think of when you think of your ears. 2. A lobe crease, also called Frank's sign, a diagonal crease in your lobe, may be a sign of heart disease. Scientists don't know exactly, what causes the crease, and not everyone who has it will have heart disease. If you notice, you have one, talk to your doctor about it. 3. Pits and folds. Babies can be born with conditions that, affect how they develop. One of these, Beckwith-Weedman syndrome, causes creases, or small holes around the ear. The baby also may be bigger than usual, and have a large tongue, and low blood sugar. The syndrome doesn't cause major health problems, for most people who have it. But as the child grows, one side of his body may be larger than the other, and he can be more likely to get certain tumors. 4. Low set ears. Two of the more common conditions linked to this is Down and Turner syndromes. Problems with the chromosome cause both. People with Down syndrome also have other physical differences and development issues. Turner syndrome can cause problems with how the head, and the neck form, and issues with growth, and puberty. Two rare conditions, Schprintz and Goldberg, and Jacobson syndromes, also can cause low set ears, and development problems. 5. Missing external ear, this can be a sign of a no ear, a condition you're born with. Doctors aren't sure what causes it, but things in the environment, and taking certain medications during pregnancy may play a part. It can happen by itself, or along with another genetic condition. In most cases, doctors can form an outside ear with plastic surgery. 6. Unusual ear shape. Even if it's just a skin tag on the ear, it could be a sign of a problem, with the way your kidneys work. That's because a baby's kidneys develop at the same time as the ears. If your doctor notices it on your newborn, she may want to test your baby's kidneys, or do an ultrasound to get a closer look. 7. Ringing in the ears. This is usually caused by something directly related to your ears, like wax buildup or being around loud noises but it also can be a sign of a problem with the joint, where your jawbone meets your skull, or an injury to your neck or head, among other things. If you hear ringing, buzzing, roaring, clicking, or hissing sounds, see your doctor find out what's going on. 8. Itchy ears. A fungal infection, or other ear irritation often causes this. Another possible reason is psoriasis, which happens when your immune system attacks your skin by mistake. It can be very painful, if you have it on your ears, where your skin is thin. It can happen outside, and inside your ear, and may lead to a buildup of dead skin that makes it hard for you to hear. There's no cure for psoriasis, but your doctor can help you manage symptoms. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel for more videos.